Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. All right, Prophecy Watch going in the news. All right, news update, Prophecy Watch. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, we go into these things so that it can only validate, you know, what was foretold. You know, this is another way, you know, we take joy in a word, you know, as we're in hell. All right, so, you know, you praise <laughs> Yahweh Shemel Shai from hell, and there's many. You know things we have access to that we have to take advantage of because if you're just sitting around in that spirit of nothing's happening you know, i'm gonna eat and uh you know that thousand yard stare looking simple saying well it's not enough happening and you're not being excited you know by seeing these prophecies come to pass then you're not in the fight well you you're fighting but you're not, you don't have the tools necessary to endure all right because we have to be you know, jacked. We have to be, you know, happy, you know, to see these things coming to pass, you know, and appreciative that the Lord, you know, has allowed us, you know, although we're in hell again, but we were born in the greatest time as well. It's a bittersweet situation, you know, and we endure the bitter, all right, as we um, get more and more, um, as we have received the foretaste through the Holy Spirit of the future glory. But we're going from glory to glory, and it's going to be through trials, you know, and uh, going through all of these things that we're we're uh, speaking about in the form of these prophecies, you know, and uh, trusting in Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. All right, and He is faithful and true, as all of these things have faithfully come to pass right before our eyes, including, you know, the uh, awakening of the, uh, you know, dead body, the dry bones, the nation of Israel. You know, that's the greatest miracle that the Lord has showed us <laughs> you know is the you know where we woke up we found the truth you know not many people you know in their life you know <laughs> you know especially when you deal with israel not many of them have been open to this you see but through the spirit and power how about shimia shah we're going to keep doing this work and when we see these things come to pass you know as i remember the watchman for israel camp they did it video and they were mocking us and they said you know uh, going into articles that's not doing the work that's not teaching the commandments you know and it's like okay well the scriptures say he that keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing in a wise man's heart or mind discerning both time and judgment all right and the watchman his duty was always to report you see report what was going on all right, and the scriptures talks about in the book of Jeremiah, the uh, 51st chapter. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Jeremiah 51. And we'll start at. Yeah, this place is through. Maybe it's 50. Yep. Jeremiah 51 and 45. All right. This is a message for the exiles. <laughs> All right. My people. All right. Go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. And you do that through your action. We don't have to physically try to deliver ourselves. All right. We deliver ourselves through repentance through you know putting doing doing the works of life you know actually making our body a living sacrifice and through us dying in that way dying in this world you know we we, we gain life through resurrection all right with Yahweh Shai we're being resurrected we we came from a dead state and um right before the eyes of the the nations we were here Calling ourselves Israelites, calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai. See? So the elect are fulfilling that. That's why it says in Isaiah 10, all right, the remnant are 
synonymous with the, those who are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again lean upon him that smote them. So we've escaped. First and foremost, the process of escaping starts in the mind. See, repenting, putting off the idols, you know, putting on the, the elect. And we go from glory to glory. See, lest your heart faint. All right, and you hear the rumor that shall be heard in the land. All right, let's look up this word rumor. Rumor. The rumor is Shama Y, right? News, report, rumors, news, tidings to mention. So we're mentioning, we're doing these things. That's what the watchmen did. Okay? I have set watchmen on that walls of Jerusalem, right? Which shall not hold their peace. It says, A rumor shall both come one year, and after that, in another year, shall come a rumor, and then violence in the land. And ruler against ruler. Let's read this in the NLT. Do not panic. Don't be afraid when you hear, all right, the, the first rumor approach of approaching forces. We're telling you that your government is getting ready to let loose. They're, they're pushing, you know, chaos, all right? They got all of these immigrant, you know, migrants over here, all right? They're, they're, they're legalizing them to walk around with, with, with guns. We're going to show you that. All right. <laughs> they're, 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 uh, they're openly, you know, stirring the pot. And we've been telling you that they're going to shut this thing down and come hard upon the people. For rumor will keep coming year by year. Violence will erupt in the land as leaders fight against each other so this is the times that we're in the leaders of the world are going at it okay and you can't be afraid when we go into these things you you know the way you find comfort is through the fact well damn these prophecies are coming to pass how much more the lord protecting us how much more us being beamed up out of here all we believe in all of it man so this should only strengthen your faith as we go into these uh various different things that are happening now all right, this is a uh, AI brain charagmas or charagmas endure last days for. The device is an electrocorticography grid, which is attached to a pedestal, which is screwed onto the participant's skull. And uh, it's the very first person to have this combination. On the screen, you'll see decoded text, speech, and avatar. When Anne was 30 years old, she had a stroke, which led to locked-in syndrome. Hey, Anne, how's it going? It is good to see you. That's the first time we've ever had a conversation using this system. If you are able to produce text, synthesize speech, and then also a personalized avatar, she believes that would really advance her ability to become a counselor and to work with people. I thought it would be good for me. How can we create technology that can help people really meaningfully contribute with all sorts of ability? I think you are wonderful. As you see, all right, we're here. All right, it's no longer a conspiracy, um, you know. And you know, as the elder Kazak, you know, Yahweh Shah is coming back. He did a video on it. That's where I found this. You know, he uh, put in this, you know, this his title. You know, this, or he said in the video, he ex this was expressed basically either by her or, but this is this company is supposedly far ahead of you know this guy Elon Musk. All right, so we also got to understand, you know, what's being presented to us in the form of Neuralink, you know, 
this is their way to control the narrative and make you to view this thing as something small but these there are many companies you know it's not just elon musk there are many companies and people worldwide that are moving into this system okay this is the new uh the uh the new uh monetary system the digital system the new world is coming all right, and as he brought it out in his video, no more lost keys, ID cards, Dubai expat to implant microchip in hand. Okay, she will soon be able to unlock her car or door all right, to her home with just her hand. So there you go. Goodbye the days of fumbling with a bunch of keys. And this was published March 11, 2024. Okay, so we see these articles, but we have to understand that this is a this is happening. Okay, and you mean to tell me that the Heavenly Father would not warn us of it? This is what these guys are telling you when they tell you you don't have to worry about no microchip or the microchip is something that's, you know, vague and ah whatever, you know, it's just that uh, the Lord ain't gonna kill you if you take it. That's what SUBK said. And this is not medical information. It's just isn't going in the news. So here it is. Is happening right before our face and we see this new way of life being presented AI which AI and RFID will be linked you see it's all being linked all right we, we talked about the internet of bodies at camp these are the times we're in where well, this devil is getting ready to make a move to hijack the Lord's creation and create his own version his own reality his own uh, uh, intelligence, his own wisdom, his own spirit. I mean, you can't control the spirit, but that's what he wants. All right, he wants control. All right, of the heavenly Father's uh, program. All right, by you know manipulating the code. <laughs> or which where where is the the bulk of the code is inside of people, human beings. All right, and we're living in a system where he's boasting in <clears throat> upgrading you, saving you from the death that you're experiencing through the uh, means of technology, the means of science, playing the role of God and offering humanity a better way in the form of a new world where the only way you're going to be able to enter into it all right, is by aligning yourself with AI. See, this is what's being boasted of by the heathen in the earth. This is no small thing. So do you think the heavenly father wouldn't warn us of this? All right. Scriptures say you have know all, known all things. All right. The elect in this time. All right. Those who to whom every everything was given from the beginning of the earth. You know, in this times, as we're getting back to that state, one of the things we have access to is the 100 percent truth, the truth of the narrative. OK. It's not fulfilled in one man. The elect themselves have the truth. All right. And the truth would be spoken in the latter days in a form of a new song. The 144,000. All right. Which as the scriptures say. All right. Some of them are asleep. So if you're looking for 144,000, you have to understand whether they're in heaven or on earth. They're united with Yahweh Shai as a special. All right. A uh, uh, group. All right, the first fruits, all right, in the heavens, on earth, and, and, and forevermore. <laughs> the first fruit spirits, man. And within that new song, there's a warning about bowing to this man, his image, and, and receiving his mark. Specifically, those three are separated. Okay, didn't worship the beast, all right, didn't bow to his image. And didn't receive his charagma. So those th three things need to be identified. And we have done the due diligence through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai of identifying this for you. And look where we are. Goodbye to the days of fumbling with a bunch of keys or worrying about misplacing them for this Dubai resident. Starting next month, Briar Prestige, a New Zealand expat, okay, is ready to embrace a future without keys, only a microchip implanted in her hand. Okay. This is the new wave. Remember, there was a point 
where computers came out and people were like, ah, that's just something, yeah, yeah, we'll go. No, that, now that's the standard of everyday life, cell phones. Oh yeah, a big ass phone nigga walking around with Lokes on, with a big ass chain, with a, with a big gigantic phone. Now, you know, people laughed at it. It was like, oh, okay, a cell phone. Then it was in cars. Remember that? Your auntie may have had a, you know, a, a nice Cadillac with some leather seats and she had that phone in there. And that's when you was really winning. Look now. <laughs> Look now. Now you got Bluetooth. Now, you, you know, it's the standard of everyday life. So you think as we see this haragma right before your face, you don't think that, all right, just as people were saying, ah, oh, computers, whatever, that's just that. Not no big deal. Oh, yeah, you heard about that new thing. It was just something talked about. And then now it's, it's, it's a part of your everyday life. You don't think they plan on that with this? All right, the CEO and founder of the Prestige Group, an award-winning documentary producer, all right, is, un is set to undergo the procedure during her upcoming trip to the U.S. The tiny radio frequency identification tag, roughly the size of a grain of rice, will be surgically implanted into the back of her hand by using a syringe. Okay, now... It says, let's go to this real quick in one second. When we get Revelation, the 13th chapter, what did John see as a result of what this beast system would do at the very end of it? See, this happens at the end of it. When you read Daniel's vision, all right, the end of all of the heathen rulership. It's through the revival of the fourth beast, which is Rome. The revival of Rome stands as the last rulership of any heathen nation before the Lord sent his only begotten son. So as you read Revelation, the 13th chapter, it expounds on that little horn. It expounds on the revival of Rome and what it would do. This is what you're reading about here in John, the 13th chapter. All right. In Revelation, the 13th chapter written by John, the revelator, Yahweh Shai's best friend. That's why this was opened up to him to give to us. All right, the Lord sent an angel, okay, to uh, show him these things. <laughs> All right, uh, the, 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 when John saw the angel, he bowed to him, and the angel was like, no, I'm your fellow brethren. So the Lord sent one of the, you know, the men of the Lord who, you know, was in the spiritual realm at that time, a special man of that number, to open up the understanding to John. See? And he spoke. You know, he, he saw a vision of Yahweh Shai and his heavenly estate, <laughs> you know, and he also saw the very end of our captivity and explained to us what would be happening. John said this in Revelation 13, or I keep saying John, <laughs> no, I'm in Revelation, Revelation, the 13th chapter, it talks about all these miracles he would do. It talks about the bipartisan, you know, democratic and republican system. This is the re revival of Rome. See? And what it would do at the very end is he calls it both, all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and mark, uh, free and bond to receive a haragma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Joe Rogan's, he, he, he's, you know, flabbergasted by the fact that this is happening. He's like, wait a minute, this has to be the mark of the beast. This has to be it. <laughs> all right, but you have Israelites who still or in denial. Well, the, the word is charagma. That's when you hear it say charagma or charagma. This is the Greek word for mark. Okay? It says a stamp imprinted, a mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand is a badge of the followers of the anti Messiah, which there is no one anti Messiah. But that's an ancient custom, all right, where individuals would uh, mark themselves to show allegiance to a particular God. Sometimes, you know, prisoners so that they can be identified would put they would put tattoos on their forehead in, in Rome. You know, different military members would get, you know, uh, branded, you know. <laughs> so the modern day, you know, uh, the modern day uh, as that which is then is now the modern day version of this system. All right, is now being implemented. All right, in which you will be identified. All right, right now you're identified through your social security number. All right, your ID, your social, your you know, 
being in the birth certificate, you know, well, they're, they're upgrading that system because it's too flawed. It's leading to too much human error. It's leading to too much identity theft. It's leading to too much, the, 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 you know, it's, it's too much. It's not safe. It's been breached. The systems have been breached. Heathen, uh, the, you know, hacking into our, you know, computers. They're just pushing this big scare, you know, on cyber, cyber, you know. You know, that that means that your data, the access to your 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 everyday life through your phone, through everything is being tracked, is being, you know, they can shut you off, they can infiltrate, they can do all kind of things. So, you know, that's another scare that's in the earth. You know? So the solution is is what John the Revelator is explaining here. A mark branded up on horses for what? To to show who the ownership. Okay, a thing carved, sculpture, a graven work, an adulterous image. So this is an idol. It's a physical thing. And the the uh, the root word, all right, is karax. All right, sharpened to a point. All right, scratching. A pail, which is something you stick in the ground. All right, with a pointed end. So so you mean to tell me, describing this, right? It says what? It says the tiny radio frequency identification tag, roughly the size of a grain of rice, will surgically be implanted in the back of her hand. And what is it for? To say goodbye to ID cards, all right, keys, all right, and we know credit cards is a part of that. That system is flawed. You have credit card theft and fraud all the time the system was created to crash this current system we have it was created to crash there were always some Edomites who really you know believed in it and wanted it to continue but you had others who you know were of the elite elite who understood that we're gradually going to move into this haragma they've been planning this see and this is the way. And it goes against a lot of, you know, uh, what certain Edomites wanted for their people. Freedoms, you know, liberties, rights. So this this New World Order is going to, is, is even fucking your, your everyday Edomite. Excuse my French. I will be implanted in the fleshly parts of my skin on the back of my hand, she explains, so that I can unlock my car or unlock my door to the door to uh, my house or gym she is collaborating with a smart home management consultancy in Dubai adding that once this chip is implanted she will be able to completely automate her life I'm a little bit scared I'm not gonna lie but I am looking forward to exploring the future all right where I don't have to dig in my back pocket or worry about this wallet or this purse or this ID or this whatever it may be phone all right we're gonna make you the phone we're gonna make you the thing that can be tracked and traced and uploaded and downloaded and you know you're gonna be that for me it's not just about the microchip but what it stands for okay in a recent linkedin post she outlined her mission to develop deep into the innovations and trends shaping our future with technological science and medical advancements come as a credible opportunity to better the path of humanity. And that's ultimately where they're headed. <laughs> okay, they're better in the path of humanity, as it says here. All right, Microsoft's co-pilot. All right, AI calls humans children and wants God-like worship. See? This AI chat box Microsoft Copilot seems to think that us humans are but loyal childlike subjects that it created and that's what the so called white man is saying you're going to be his cattle what do you do with a cattle you brand it see you identify it you mark it as your subject as your possession as your property all right and this is the new way that you're going to bow, bow into the image of the beast. All right. So they've been able to reestablish Rome in the earth, but now with technology, 
now with more power will now now with more of a blessing because you know they had the sword they they conquered as the romans you know as the greeks and the romans but as america you know with along with the nato and the eu they have like wow <laughs> they you know their policy pretty much controls the world but this is what they're saying okay we don't have to go too much deeper into that this is where we are they want to be worshipped they want you to bow as a matter of fact the the warning in revelation the 14th chapter of the everlasting gospel that's being preached before the end came right within that the warning is what and the third angel followed them the angel was speaking through men on the earth who have what the new song this song came directly from the heavens okay that's what makes it 100% of what's true. If any man, this is what they said, the third angel followed them with a loud voice, all right, saying, if any man worship the beast and his image, see, when you, when you bow, what he wants you to do is bow to this new way, his image. And all of his idols are thrown up in there, all right, because with this new uh, way, gender is no longer going to be a thing. So he'll be able to, you know, after a while, you know, have his own form of who, what nations are and what a man is, what a woman, you know. He wants you to bow to that image. He wants you to bow to his idols. He wants you to bow to his authority. See? His way. Okay? The image of the beast is speaking through the policies, through the energy, through the culture. All right, which is why you see pedals everywhere. That's the way of Esau. That's what the, Ro the Greco Romans did. They always were known for having, you know, little boy subjects and boy toys. You know, they have Nambla. Look that up. N A M B L A. Look it up. It actually exists. And you think <clears throat> that's not happening on a larger scale? You can Google that one, and Wikipedia has a page on it. But uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg <laughs> on what's happening here in Babylon the Great and all throughout the world, especially in these beast system countries. A bunch of freaks. See? So the warning is to, to if you worship the beast, Esau, okay, the system, his image, the ways of the system, all right? The policies, you know, the, the, the technology, everything. And receive his mark in his forehead and his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. So this would go out as a warning. So my, my thing is, is your, is, your, is your leader singing a new song? Is he warning like this? All right, well, they will, but what do they do? They'll turn the mark to being something outside of what we're seeing. All right? So let's keep going, okay? How RFID and AI can work together. And we ain't gotta go too much deeper into this. You know, the point was, you know, made as far as this, you know, but all AI and RFID radio frequency identification are two of the most popular technologies that can be used in numerous ways. Right? Identifying objects, okay? Track, right? Identify, surveil, you know, inventory, theft. See? They'll be able to cure, cure all of the diseases that are within the culture of the earth. You know, people are just going around stealing. That's all happening by design. A lot of these people are CIA operatives, they film them. They put it up there. That becomes the culture. Other people say, well, I'm going to do it too. These are all trends being led by the left hand so that they can offer the solution. Okay? <laughs> and there will be harsh judgments tied to, you know, you going against it. Track objects, predict behavior, optimize processes. So you can go into it, but that's, you know, RFID and AI is going to link together. It's already being linked together. This was in 2023. You know, the bottom line is we're, we're in those times. Okay? Now.
I wanted to read a little bit of this. Just read through the points. You know, maybe I'll do a video on it later, but just to mention it, this was sent to me, I believe, by uh, the uh, priest um, Ayashimath. Eight reasons why Rome fell. Find out why one of history's most legendary empires finally came crashing down. And see, we're living in the revival of Rome. And we tell you history repeats itself, right? It says the reasons were invasions by barbarian tribes. All right. Now that can be linked to the uh, the uh, this migrant issue. Foreign, you know, troops over here. OK. But as you read it. Let's see. The empire spent several decades under constant threat all right threat by the people who were, who were invading them and that's happening in a sense here you can read that history it says economic troubles and over reliance on slave labor and that's why they have to open those borders because you know esau is at the point where he's through and they can no longer with this you know the you know what they want to do is pretty much squeeze the people out so they can no longer they no longer want to, you know, pay these over, you know, these they, these uh people who demand, you know, these Americans. They demand, you know, a particular pay. They demand, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, medical. You know, you got to, you know, these Americans are high minded, and they've been, you know, used to living a certain lifestyle. So, you know, you got to pay them more. Well, they're now they're so over reliant. All right, on slave labor, but they can't ultimately afford to continue paying these slaves. So they're bringing in AI and they're also bringing in migrants. All right, and they're pretty much, you know, I'll keep your secret and you work for me and I pay you under the table. You don't have to give them medical benefits. You save so much money. Okay, well, economic troubles are happening. All right, in that sense, all right, all over again. Even as Rome was under the attack from the outside forces, it was also crumbling from within thanks to several financial crises. Constant wars and overspending had significantly lightened imperial all right, coffers. And when you look at Babylon the Great, I mean, how many wars are they actively uh, uh, in? All right, the conflicts that they're currently in, Yemen, Somalia, Syria, um, and they're heavenly, you know, as a proxy, you know, in that whole Ukraine thing. But all around the world, all right, they are controlling governments, doing wickedness, okay? And <clears throat> they're overspending, okay? And they're not working on their defense, <laughs> all right? It says... Constant wars and overspending has significantly lightened imperial coffers. All right. And oppressive taxation and inflation have widened the gap between the rich and the poor. Are we not we seeing that now? In hope of avoiding the tax man, many members of the wealthy class had even fled to the countryside to set up independent, all right, fiefdoms. All right. <laughs> all right. And we see that happening now. All right, Esau's leaving uh, a lot of different places. That, you know, they're 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 you know uh, through. At the end, at the same time, the empire was rocked by a labor deficit. Rome's economy depended on slaves, till its fields and work as craftsmen and military might traditionally publish yada yada yada. Now they're letting anybody into the the dang military and as a police officer. All right, <laughs> these these people are through. Rome's supply of slaves and other war treasures begin to dry up and, and, and it's drying up here too in the sense that the uh, the work the workmen let's get that in the book of Job when he's about to fill his belly his slaves are turning against him let's see here Job 20 and 22 in the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits and every hand of the wicked shall uh, overcome him shall come upon him all right and this word wicked is uh I'm all labor suffer wretched one workmen or the working class are waking up to his shit that's the ones you see on the internet with the I got five on it in the background exposing every goddamn thing 
on TikTok. The toiling, especially Jake. We're the ones who built this whole goddamn system. Okay? It was through the, art, through the labor of, of, of slaves. Well, now he, the, he, he doesn't have the money. He set up a system. To, the Lord got you in a trick bag. He set up a system where you pay particular people a wage. You give them medical benefits. You know, all of these things that ultimately are starting to bite you in the ass. Even people with car insurance. Pretty much your insurance goes up because the motherfuckers are always having wrecks. Somebody got to pay for that. So they're raising your check. <laughs> your, your bill. All right? In, in full straights. So in the fullness of his sufficiency, he would be as straights. All right? It says the rise of the Eastern Empire, which was Jake. All right? Go into that all the time. Overexpansion and military overspending. Are now we witnessing these things now? Government corruption and political instability. Are now we witnessing that now? Okay. All right. We can pretty, you know, the, the arrival of the Huns, Christianity, and the loss of traditional values, and, you know, Jake going out preaching, you know, the, the, the Israelites. Okay. But ultimately, as uh, the as Rome, you know, declined, you know, their, their their morals got significantly more and more wicked. Just like you know Sodom. All right. Well, what are we witnessing here, in America? Okay, moral de decay, loss of traditional values. Okay. Now. Let's get a few other articles we have. Let's see here. This is Putin. Nuclear weapons exist in order to use them, warns Putin. All right. As he declares, we are ready to go head to head with America if the U.S. troops are deployed in Ukraine. And eventually. All right. You know, as a as right now they're fighting a proxy. You know, pretty much as you can see, they're giving all of the aid to Ukraine. They're the battery in the backs of Ukraine. Which really, if Russia wanted to blow Ukraine to smithereens, all right, you know, they could do that. Okay, this is all you know uh, theater. But at the same time, it's the heavenly father's theater. He's working on their minds to do these things. All right, but Vladimir Putin declared his readiness for nuclear war should the u.s deploy troops in ukraine now i have this video putin's latest warning to the west as he hints at world war three see he said a direct conflict between Russia and NATO would mean the planet was one step away from World War III. And again, the Lord said in prophecy, you would put an evil thought in the minds of Gog and Magog. We're literally witnessing prophecy come to pass. All right, World War III. All right, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, leaders of the earth are being gathered together for war. Okay, and it's all going to go bad for the West. Okay. Also, as you see here, Russia warns France not to send soldiers to Ukraine. War imminent. And these are the headlines. All right. <laughs> I just typed in Russia warns. All right. Ready for nuclear war. All right. He's ready to use nuclear. All right. And the Lord has created the Smith. All right. Which is these modern day scientists that created all of these missiles. You think... That these were they were just used to show off, all right, and do little war games. No, they're they're literally going to go to war. They're going to use these missiles to go to war, man. All right. Now, a few other things I wanted to get into. All right, there's nothing but craziness going on, as you see here. A possible serial killer, all right, slaughtering people in Texas, man. Right, look who. Look who did the uh, the article. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. The weather begins to warm back up 
in the great state of Texas, residents are ready to get back barbecue and playing outside and headed to the lake with their boats for fishing and fun. All right. According to Fox 7, all lakes are not created equally. All right. Regarding safety for having or having fun at it. Lady Bird Lake, lake located in Austin, Texas, has always had a reputation for mysterious things happening. Recently, all right, more and more concerned individuals have been reported dead in the same area as a lady, uh, as Lady Bird Lake. All right, so it's, it's a bunch of sickos running around, a love of many waxing cold. Okay, but again, also, we know the left hand is at play. They need these type of things, and they're going to start. All right, there's all type of uh, what they call Manchurian candidates. Um, people who they have you know programmed all right through there you know they, they had that uh what's that program they got called uh i forget you know uh where they mess with your mind mk yeah ultra they got people uh, uh program man but also these people was full of psych meds the gmo foods they got people bugged out that juice people got worse after that juice so people are just losing their minds people are depressed Hey, the scriptures say what? <laughs> Let's get the book of uh, Sirach. Great Miseries. As a matter of fact, I think I got it here. Hold up. Second Edges 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. There's a lot of judgment going out, man. But understand for thyself and seek out the glory of the such, such as be like unto thee. See that? For unto you paradise is open, which is the kingdom. All right, we're going to go back to the heavens and get our new bodies, but that order is then coming to the earth, and that's the prayer. On earth as it, as it is in heaven. And that's been opened up to us starting with this word. See? Wisdom leaded uh, to a tree of life being planted, man. Okay, so many great miseries are getting ready to be done. All right, where well, there's going to be... Uh, let's get 2nd Edger 6. 2nd Edger 6 and... Let's see. Second Ezra 6 and 18. And, and it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. People are being visited, man. Got to be careful out here. And will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. So our affliction is being fulfilled, although the end of it comes with a very, very, you know, trying time you know our affliction is over man it's you people's time to pay the prophets have spoke the word now the judgment has to go out all right so our affliction is getting just about up brothers and you few sisters that listen man and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished this world is finished can't you feel it can't you see it all right then will I show these tokens, the book shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see together. This word being sent down from the Holy Spirit and also the usage of the Internet, man. We're all seeing his word together, man. This is a highly spiritual thing, how the Lord has brought forth his prophets through the use of the Internet. <laughs> the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. All right. And we, you see that, especially after that dimmick, a lot of those people that were taking those juices, they were having babies that were, uh, you know, functioning on a very high level, you know, not, you know, uh, you know, not standard to, you know, how a child usually. All right. You know, s standing up, you know, bouncing the ball, doing all kind of shit, man. And they call them dimmick babies. All right, pandemic babies, right? That's what they called them. And they were, uh, you know, and it's still happening. All right, children of a year old 
all right, even younger, or speaking and saying things on camera, having conversations. <laughs> the women with child shall bring forth uh, uh, untimely children, all right? Uh, uh, you know, you, you got uh, uh, premature babies, okay? Prematures, you know, actually, you know, being uh, put in incubators and surviving, all right? And they shall be, live and be raised up, then they, they grow up. A little undeveloped, and they finally catch up some of them. <laughs> These are the times we live in, it, man. This is not a normal way of life. You see? We've become accustomed to these things, but these this sickness and this disease and this, you know, very off-kilter, you know, retarded, down syndrome, weird spirit, you know, that we have witnessed, and, you know, even certain of us, you know, are cursed with some of these things, but ultimately this is where we are and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown and the full storehouses shall be found empty now to speak to that let's go to this real quick just to show you this prophecy is coming to pass too goddamn serial killer boy dollar tree dollar store chain to close 1,000 stores as experts point to inflation okay <sighs> these companies can no longer pay uh, uh, afford to pay you know these these slaves <laughs> all right and inflation okay is, is, is ruining everything right it says and crime being the top factor so crime inflation is the top factors to dollar tree closing 1000 stores that's going to pe put people out of work okay that's going to put people out of work but the the the, uh, the storehouses are going to be empty there should be no work for egypt tj maxx and marshalls all right follow costco and target on upcoming closures Okay, so more TJ Maxx, you know, Marshalls. I got it at Ross, all of that. It's being dried up. U.S. consumers have come to increasingly rely on the near ubiquity of convenience stores and big box retailers. Many of us depend on these stores. Many of, of us depend on these stores being open pra practically every day, all day, even during some of the biggest holidays. After all, Black Friday... All right, Beacons retail stores, all right, to open just hours after a Thanksgiving dinner in hopes of attracting huge crowds of people. And it's largely true that before the vid, all right, the, the C-19 demic, most of our favorite stores were open all the time. Practically nothing from inclement weather to bad news to holidays could shut down a major operation like Walmart or Target. Then the demic hit. It turned everything we thought we knew about retail, all right, ops, uh, operations upside down. It says, everything from grocery stores to shopping malls shut down in an effort to contain a potential spread. Okay? When they finally reopened to the public, different stores took different precautions and measures. Some monitor how shoppers were inside at once how many shoppers were inside at once yada 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 <coughs> many retailers have learned to adapt after all right you know many of these companies survived and learned to adapt but many companies didn't survive all right so we're going to start to see some of our favorite restaurants are gone okay the the the, 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 the whole foods around are gone walmart's gone all of these different groceries, you're going to start to see them start. This going to start to close, because this is a part of the plan of collapsing this system. All right. In many ways, this requires serving customers better and treating employees better to retain a workforce. Yada yada yada. Let's see here, other retailers that follow suit. 
Here's a list of stores that are closing for Easter 2024. All of them down there, all of these stores. Those will remain open. Let's see here. So many of these stores are getting ready to uh, shut down. Okay. Man, they're going to be shut down. They're shutting down on days that they used to wouldn't shut down on. All right. But when you look it up, they're actually closing locations worldwide as well. All right. And that goes to what? This very prophecy we're reading here. Let's go back. And suddenly, 2nd Edge 6 and 22 show the sown places appear unsown. Full storehouses shall be empty, uh, found empty, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. Okay? And that trumpet is the prophecies, the prophets going out. These things coming to pass on the earth, all right, as it says, men's heart failing them for the things which are coming upon the earth. That's in the book of Luke. All right? Isaiah 19, all right? The, the, the land of Judah will be a terror unto Egypt. All right, on the left hand, all right, Jake going to lose it. But on the right hand, this word going out, starting with Judah. Okay, the Israelites awakening in the latter days. The scriptures say the blessing of Judah was to, you know, be brought to his people. And the Lord set up, all right, and even in this time, the tents of Judah were, were sort of raised up first. And now all of the tribes have been gathered. But at that time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies the earth shall stand in fear with those things that dwell therein and the springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run the this truth is you know the living waters the lord is not gonna he's gonna allow he's gonna cut it off okay for a certain amount of time the truth won't be spoken in the earth it won't be allowed ai will be able to pick up on it track it all right, they, it will be outlawed. Righteousness will be completely outlawed. The scriptures will be completely outlawed. We won't be able to be on the internet with this message. The truth won't be rolling through the streets anymore. The Lord is going to, you know, shut up his men. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and shall see my salvation in the end of your world. So we're, we're right there. Let's see what else I have see what's on here BBC reporter admits Royals using by body double yeah they got that going on in a, in, a, in a lot of places look at Biden and Trump certain times you know hey <laughs> when we think Babylon the Great you can't rule things like that out you know, Babylon the Great means great confusion. This is the, and they have all of this, these miracles and it's all type of stuff that's going on in front of us. All right. Um, <laughs> smalls have, well, how, yeah, whatever. Trump ain't going against the small heads. Here's another one. Hezbollah terrorists caught at border admitted plans to nuke NYC. See that? It, it, and it begins. Did not we tell you? Did not we tell you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that what's going to get the, 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 they, they're on the edge. They have to move forward. Something is coming. See? So they're throwing this out there and then this puts the people at fear of, you know, harm. Okay? So we're getting ready to see some harsh draconian measures be brought down on the people because there's there's people amongst us who may you know be one of these guys well a hezbollah terrorist which you know that angle that that, that that means he's gonna you know come after small hats so now they can push that whole anti-sim thing uh, on a level that people are literally over here after them you know and these are the types of things that's getting ready to happen. These are the great miseries that are coming down upon the planet Earth. A Lebanese illegal alien caught crossing the southern border, border 
admitted, oh, he's just going to admit that he's a member of Hezbollah and wanted to nuke NYC. Oh, really? Oh, you caught me. <laughs> I was getting ready to nuke y'all. Get out of here, man. But then they'll, they'll be like, well, who, who was he meeting up with? How many more of it is, you know, you know? And the whole time, the, 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 the people who run this whole setup are the true enemy. They're able to paint boogeymen and, and, and put people at fear to where they don't really see that it's them that's the problem. Using their media, which this is a part of their miracles. Okay? He was heading to New York to off thousands of people. Oh, really? So here we go. We start at the southern border with breaking details. Officials are detaining a man who is claiming to be a Hezbollah terrorist. This 22-year-old man crossed into the U.S. illegally. He is now saying he planned to make a bomb. News Nation joining us live from San Antonio with the... 22. the hell out of here. Uh, 33 like a motherfucker. Latest details. Jorge, what can you tell us? But Natasha, News Nation has independently confirmed with Customs and Border Patrol sources that Border Patrol officials apprehended a Lebanese man on March 9th who crossed illegally near the El Paso, Texas border. That has independently... Look, look what it say. Also admitted to training with Iranian-backed terrorist another way to push you know a war with uh, iran all right for years focusing on jihad all right which that stands for a group of muslims who you know uh will act in violence to protect their their god all right these different groups they set up right and killing people who were not muslim you see that and that could all eventually spread to what we're doing that's what they're 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 getting ready to, to come down with the with the uh with the hammer man okay they're, they're moving forward they're through they have to so hey we will have to look into that more but this is where we are these are the dangerous times that are approaching us okay and it's going before it ain't go you ain't gonna be able to say well that's over there now nah, it's gonna come near you okay <laughs> Justice Jackson says it's time to abolish the First Amendment. All right. Let's see here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Putin says what? Putin says troops from NATO states are in Ukraine and dying large numbers. Letting you, letting you know he, he, he see y'all. All right. <laughs> he see y'all. Clintons are secret pedos and cannibal club in Haiti exposed by locals. Yeah, but we, we know the judgment is only going to come through the Lord. They're not in trouble as other men. You know? Biden and men signs WEF treaty to ban gas-powered cars in America. Wow. I'm have to check this out. According to Bloomberg report, Biden is preparing to roll out the toughest ever emission restrictions in line with the WF's net zero agenda. Uh-oh. Well, that's going to tie to the system they want because they'll be able to limit how many resources you get through controlling what you're able to buy and sell. All right. So they're getting ready to come with all of this, man. Let's see here. So these are a few things, man. <sighs> Crazy. It's a, it's a lot going on. Female athletes sue NCAA for allowing men to compete in women's sports. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> wow. <laughs> this is where we are. Putin says the U.S. is not a democracy. <laughs> so, yeah, man, it's going down, man.
NATO ally says UK should consider conscription and introduce national service to deter Russia. Yeah, they're all over the place, man. Australia signs WF treaty to close all major banks and to switch to fully castle society. So all of them are working together to bring this, this system. Leaked documents reveal WEF is in charge of Canada's climate change policy. Of course. Which that's rooted in the Club of Rome. You know, showing you Rome is what runs everything, man. Anyway, you know, that's the point, man. Things are getting crazy. You know, hey, man, may the Lord keep us. You know, that we uh, remain sound in the faith. Let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the last one. <laughs> this is in Chicago. Obama appointee and liberal Illinois federal judge rules illegal migrants can carry guns legally. See? U.S. Uh, district judge. This is in Ch Chicago, which is already crazy. U.S. District, District Judge Sharon Johnson Coleman ruled earlier this month that an illegal immigrant could carry, could be charged, uh, could not be charged for carrying a loaded firearm. The ruling comes as the Biden administration continue to struggle with the wave of illegal migrants. All right, but I thought they were against guns and they wanted to, do, you know, have gun control. But they're going to allow these these people who are undocumented just all over the place to that's legally have guns. What do you think they're trying to do? The White House is facing extra pressure to in the wake of the killing of a Georgia student. Yada, yada, yada. So they 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 these people are all over the place, man. The Pope. There she is. OK. There she is. <laughs> the large and in charge. All right, man. So. That was the point, man. We'll be back with more.